Might be looking for a big play here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Gosh, get in there, baby. He's got double or nothing, so we're gonna be looking for nothing here, unless. Oh, baby, move, move, get that block. Let's go. Change to man. Let's just go here. Let's just go. Block him up. Block everybody up. Block everybody up. Block everybody up. Come on. Come on. Up. Block up. That's all I can ask for. Get in there, Johnson. Get in there, Johnson! 13 seconds. Guys, if anybody can do this, we can. If anybody can do this, we can. my spread offensive playbook breakdown the playbook that has like 45 different gun formations now if you're not familiar with the series you're just tuning in first of all hit that like and subscribe button it helps me out more than you know uh i'm working on a thousand subscribers before the end of madden 24 so as i was saying we're going to continue this spread offensive playbook we are working kind of week by week we're going in and we're finding different formations finding different mini schemes out of this now later on once i get done with each individual mini scheme Later, I'll be putting him in, into basically full schemes where now you've got two, three, even four formations to kind of audible in between uh, out of these little mini scheme formations. Now, today we're going to be going over the gun box offset week. Um, I really do think this is this is a, a formation that really could kind of work itself into the meta. Um, like I said, you can motion in, make it bunch. You've got all the similar looks, but there's a lot of plays out of this that come stock where you don't need hot route master, or you can only, you can get away with just one slot apprentice that really makes this offense disgusting. Not only that, it's got a disgusting run play that we'll go ahead and check out right now. Guys, do not forget every day is a true, true blessing. Do not take anything for granted. Go out there and find something to be thankful for. And as always, guys, go out there and put on a show in every single thing you do, because that's what this channel is about. That's what we're doing here. All right, guys. So like I said, gun box offset week. Um, here's the formation right here. Here's gonna be my audibles. I've got wide cross post, uh, wide trap. This is just disgusting. Follow that that pulling left guard, uh, HB angle, and then you've got PA read. Uh, this is really nice because it's got the stock Texas route with the crosser. Literally, this just run ran stock is a good play in itself. All right, guys, before we get into this, I do want to start going over what players can motion where. That guys you that got, that way you guys can also form your own schemes out of this. I know y'all are smart and capable. Um, so I just want to show y'all, obviously, what I know about this and kind of the basics and the money plays that I know out of these formations so you can form your own route combination. So starting at the slot with CD Lamb, he cannot motion outside, but he can motion across the field. He's just going to motion right there in that slot position. Looking at Ferg, when he goes outside, he's just going to split the middle. Now, this could be great when we're talking about timing routes. As we get into this, think about how the timing of splitting your tight end just a couple steps out could affect the timing kind of get him open that much more maybe get him a little more space you never know because essentially now you've got trips on this right side you can also motion your tight end all the way across the field similar to cd lamb um he's just going to line up in that slot on that left side as i mentioned before we're looking at this outside receiver you can also motion him in inside now essentially you've kind of got like a split open uh or a split bunch look now we're gonna look at this outside receiver as well you can actually motion him inside which is gonna be great because if you have wider receiver apprentice or even hot route master on your quarterback. A lot of mutt, uh, a lot of mutt QBs at this point in the game have the ability to get hot route master. This is gonna be nice because now that X receiver gets all the slot apprentice abilities. You've got your post, your corners, your crossers, all that much more. Route combinations can be formed. Uh, we're talking, we're talking endless over here. It's nasty. And unfortunately, your running back cannot go anywhere. He's he's stuck where he's at. There's no there's no moving him. Now, real quick, what this formation really excels in is di dialing up. I'm talking about dialing up. We're right under the cell tower and we're dialing up the middle, dude. This thing, talk about like, we're, we're not just like dialing up. We're taking deep shots over the middle. It's going to make him have to have to either use her or throw some zones in the middle. And then it's going to leave everything out on the outside. People who love the double Mabel, this formation is going to torch them. I promise you. 
All right, so right off the bat, I'm just gonna be coming on strong flood um, right here, just because I do have hot rod master. But right here, I'm just gonna pretend CD Lamb has slot apprentice. Typically in all my schemes, I recommend at least one slot apprentice. It just opens up your playbook so much more. So let's pretend CD Lamb has slot apprentice here. I'm gonna put him on a deep uh, corner right here. I've just got a high low read with a crosser coming over the backside. If the user goes with that corner, uh, because that corner should get over a 30 if you just give it time. So if the user goes that way, you've got a, slot, a crosser coming over the backside. It's gonna be pretty open. Let's start with these audibles. So why cross? This play is absolutely disgusting. So just looking at it right here, let me kind of talk you through this. So you've got a pretty nice deep uh, crosser by default. Um, if you want to, just because you see how deep that running back route is. I, sometimes I like to just put on a regular out um, and then I put RB on a streak. So what this is gonna do, RB is gonna push any deep zone over the top of him deep right he's just gonna get gone right um this backside post is gonna be really really nice now i do not like this backside post against man because you see how it kind of cuts in and then it cuts back out when he cuts back up that's going to actually give the the, the db a little bit of a chance now obviously if you've got a good receiver there's a good chance you can beat him but what i like about this uh is that that rb route is going to push anything deep once you see the safety's hips turn you're gonna beam it to be unless the user's already on it you're gonna beam it to be all right let's run this again let's not get sacked this time oh my gosh he's just instead of me I, but see like i had to throw that way quicker than i really wanted to if i waited another second that's actually a one play touchdown but you see as soon as rb gets that backside or that that deep safety as soon as he gets his hips to turn you're gonna beam it to be i don't i don't care what else is going on Beam it to be, I promise you he's open. Now, the reason why this play is so disgusting is because you almost have to user that backside post. You give it, you give it enough time, he's going to be open. You're either gonna throw it to him really quickly, or he's gonna wait till he crosses the face and wait for those safety hips to turn. Now, you also have this high low on this left side. So you're attacking the middle of the field while simultaneously hitting a deep corner or a deep crosser with the shallow underneath to pull, pull any flat zones down. Now, if you want to hit this crosser uh, a little deeper, if he's playing 30s, that 30 is probably going to play this crosser. But what you can do, like I said, if he's got hot route master, you can put him on a hot routed crosser. Now, look how much deeper that is. A 30 is not going to play that. I don't care who you are. So, guys, right here, this play right here, money, absolute money play. Easily one of my favorite plays. All right, now this run play. So, basically, you've got this left guard, the backside guard pulling with you. It's going to essentially work as a trap play. Uh, but something about it, man, it's just, it gets some of the best blocks I've seen. Um, I've, for instance, um, this is my Cowboys theme team. I think we've got 90s and 92s across the board, like nothing special. Um, so you just follow this blocker. Obviously, it's Madden. Look, you're you're going to get shedded at some point. People are, Sheds are going to happen. But for the most part, on average, and that's really what I really look like, look at when it comes to how many yards am I getting on average versus just about any defensive look, stacked look widespread look anything like that on average how many yards am i playing or am I, how many yards am i getting if i'm getting at least four or five it's a solid run play in my opinion what's great about this is it actually has one play touchdown potential <laughs> i didn't line that up i promise <laughs> but that's how good this playbook uh, this this run play is um is not only are you it's very easy to average uh five a pop but I mean, your, your one play potential is is massive. Now, I also have uh, inside stuff on Micah Parsons out here. So let's just see. All right, let's, let's okay, we're not, it's not letting me. So Micah Parsons, it, I haven't even doubled him this entire time. I haven't doubled him. We're gonna pretend like Ed Tutal has inside stuff. So we're gonna double him as well. So what does that look like? Now we've got him doubled, we're still going. Like it's still an absolute money play, man. It's so good. Moving on to the next one, let's get to this HB angle. Now, this is a deep ass Texas route. It's so deep. Uh, Texas routes are good. Pair them up with the crosser, double good, right? Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. Honestly, this is kind of a street ball move. This crosser is gonna beat man. It's gonna be uh, zone. It's gonna get over the zones. This Texas is the same way. Zones, man, it's gonna beat them. Now, what you're really doing is you're gonna be playing with the, the backside, the B and the RB. Um, if you kind of wanna, lean more towards hitting the and just have a bunch of crossing routes is putting them on a drag and looking for the high low you're either looking at a or y whichever the user uh, picks 
Um, but if something that could actually get uh, over double Mabels and really mess up double Mabels, putting RB on maybe like a curl or a stop and then B on a smoke screen, something like something like a, a route combo like this could, abs could absolutely annihilate uh, double Mabel. But guys, honestly, run this play stock. I'm telling you, most of the time, something's going to get A's open, Y is open there very briefly. You could hot read a lot of those uh, or just wait. At some point, you're either going to throw kind of to the left side numbers or the right side numbers to either your Texas route or the crosser. Uh, I mean, it's it's a money. It's one of probably the mo more money stock plays other than verticals that I've seen in Madden 24. Now, second to last, guys, I'm going to save the best for last. This PA read is actually pretty na nasty uh, right behind the play that's coming up next. Um, so this PA read is, is nice because of a couple things. So what I can do is put A on a streak. This is going to leave just like your this. What, what is this? The Y cross, just like the same thing. It's going to give you a high low on the left side of the field. And then you're also attacking the middle deep with the B route. Again, just put Y on a little outside route, streak X, and you've got yourself a deep play attacking the left side of the field and the middle. Now, one that I like to run that really, really can be nasty is now I've got, okay, starting from left. So I've got the X route that's running a comeback. Now, this is going to drag any deep zones kind of down and away. Um, and allow that RB route to stay open a little bit longer. You also have a high low now on the right side of the field. Whereas I typically go to the left side of the field, now I'm going back to the right. I've got a deep corner, and then I've got a flat pulling anything down. Got to do your very simple, very simple high low read on this right side. Um, so as we hike this up, we're gonna watch this I, RB. Absolute, absolute. That's your first read. Watch what the safeties are, are doing. Um, you might just hot read him real quick. But this is one of my more favorite ways to set this up. Is I've got a hot read over the middle of the field that it's gonna have to, it, it's gonna have to occupy the user, it's going to have to, um, and then I've got which leaves the high low on this right side. All right, guys, last play and probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's got a deep. You check it out. It's got a deep post over the middle of the field. Now again, common theme. We're attacking, absolutely murdering the middle of the field. Uh, simple, simple adjustment. Put A on a streak. B on a on a, on a drag. Um, what this is essentially doing uh, You can really do whatever you want with this Y route put them on a wheel um, The X is gonna push anything deep and then that wheels kind of get behind it while the drags pulling up everything else down So now you've got a wheel on that right side or that left side. I'm sorry But what's nasty is a is gonna push anything deep, right? He's gonna push all the deep uh, players deep typically your receivers faster than your tight end So it's gonna the timing's also gonna show up that B route's gonna help pull anything it's including the user and then obviously you have the high low on this left side with the wheel, street, and uh, drag combo. So as we play this out here, looks like maybe a little match. B's open. Um, that What's really nice about that post by the tight end is he also burns his man. Burns. Uh, in my in my Chargers franchise, I had Donald Parham. Which, in, it, look, in Mutt, Donald Parham's an absolute goon. In franchise, he's like a 78 overall. Or, or less than that. He might be actually a 70 overall. Um, and he just was... He just be routing people up for no reason. Honestly, what he was doing to uh, the people in my league was absolutely criminal. So as we play this out again, looks like maybe a cover four, cover two. Uh, you can see RB is open. Just wait, and then B's open. Like, guys, just give it time. As long as you can just sit in the pocket for three seconds, something's gonna come open. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the gun box offset week. I think it was called something with a box. Um, th this play, or this formation is disgusting. You can almost I I would say you can stay in this formation all game. It's got a nasty run. It's got all the passing plays you need that can attack the left side of the field deep, the middle of the field, and the right side of the field. Guys, hit that sub because I'm going to be doing just that. In a later video, I'm going to be running this formation and this formation only in one video. Let's see how, see how bad we can dot our opponent up, man. Just to show you how high-powered this scheme alone can be. Guys, as always, y'all keep putting on a show. I'll keep doing my thing around here, and I'll see you in the next one.